Hello, students and parents. Is this spreadsheet, which was developed several years ago so that we could know each and every senior. On this spreadsheet is your GPA, whether or not you've taken the ACT or the SAT, your scores, and the colleges that you've applied for. Or maybe you're not interested in going to college, but you want to go into the military. So we have that on the spreadsheet, as well as other post-secondary options like going straight to work. In this spreadsheet, we meet with you several times to make sure that you have some information that can make you have the best choices about what you want to do after high school. For us at Spencer, uh, the end of the road is not when you graduate. That's just the beginning. So we want to be a part of that process and helping you to choose your future plans. One of the ways that we help you is that we make sure that every senior applies to at least three colleges, at least a university, a college, and even a community college to give you the best options. We also have all types of recruiters, Air Force, Army, the Marines, the Coast Guard, they will be coming out through the school year. For those of you that are virtual, we will have them do virtual presentations so that you can also get the information. Um, one of the most important things is to have a plan. And so that's what we are about is to make sure that we help you with that plan and with that process. One of the first things that we will be doing um, this month actually is making sure that we go through your transcript and we do your senior audit. That senior audit is comprised of going through each and every class that you have ever taken to make sure that you have the, the correct classes, the core classes that you need, and also the number of credits that you need. We will go through that and we also will go through um, career information systems to help you take career interest inventories so that when you leave and you go into college, you'll have a good idea of what type of major you want to have and what type of job field you'll be looking forward to. With that being said, I want Ms. Washington to talk to you a little bit about some of the links that she will provide to help you through this process. Hello, class of 2021. It's wonderful to be here to provide you with some extra assistance. If you go on the website, we have several links um, of surveys for you to fill out for us to help to know what area um, you're leaning towards, whether military, college, work, and a way to request transcripts. So please, please, please use those links because you have a collegeboard.org account. Also, if you go into that, you can use it to sign up for Khan Academy and Big Future. Khan Academy can help you study for the ACT and SAT. Big Future can help you select what colleges are best for you based on what your major is, um, based on what size, if you want to be in-state or out-of-state, price comparison. Also, they have a component in there for um, scholarship opportunities that directly impact you. Maybe you're left-handed, there's a left-handed scholarship. If you're tall, there's one for that as well. So please make sure you make a College Board account. Make sure you use those helpful links and tools to make this process as easy as possible. Thank you. And also, Ms. Washington, um, we will be having um, presentations with FAFSA. FAFSA will also uh, help your parents with the financial aid part of the uh, college process. So know that we will be having presentations. So again, make sure that you look on our website under Counselors Hangout so that you can get that much needed information. Ms. Dorsey. Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Dorsey. I'm your graduation coach. My office is located in the guidance suite right next door to Ms. Washington. Most of the students know that I work with credit recovery. Before we get into credit recovery, let's talk about the credits that you need to graduate. The minimum amount of credits that you need to graduate is 23. That's four credits of science, math, ELA, and three and a half in social studies. The remaining amount of credits come from your elective for, uh, foreign language and career pathway classes. Now that is just the bare minimum amount of credits. That's what's required. Um, just because you get 23 credits does not mean you will graduate if they are not in the required section. That leads me to credit recovery. Credit recovery is a tool we use um, here in Muskogee County. It's affiliated with, it's for the state of Georgia. It is Georgia Virtual School. They have Georgia Virtual School and Georgia Virtual Credit Recovery. 
Credit Recovery is the free system that we use in order to recover your classes that you may not have passed the first time. While it is definitely important to pass the first time, we do know that there are bumps and hiccups along the road where you may not pass a particular class, and that is where credit recovery may be an option. Credit recovery is only for core classes. So that's your math, science, English, and social studies. Health is an option also, but there are no other electives that are uh, available through credit recovery. So your elective classes are just as important as your core classes because you still need those classes in order to graduate. For my athletes, credit recovery classes are not cleared by NCAA. So if you are planning on obtaining scholarships or playing sports in college, having those credit recovery classes will not count towards that. So let's make sure that we are doing what we need to do, keeping your grades up and passing those classes the first time. If you are an athlete and you do not pass the class and you are planning on playing uh, sports in college, you will have to do summer school, which means some of your practice time over the summer will be taken because you're retaking the class. So let's make sure you stay on track and stay focused and pass it the first time. With that being said, make sure you do not wait until the end of the semester or the end of the year to talk to your teachers about any of your missing assignments. If you miss a day of school, um, an excuse absence, you have three days to get that work from your teacher and make it up and turn it in. Um, make sure you keep in contact with your teachers, especially during this time right now where we have students that are virtual. Uh, versus being traditional, being in the building, you have to keep in constant contact with your teachers. That's the only way they're going to know what's going on with you and uh, being able to work with you. We are available to assist you here in guidance. If you are having an issue with getting in contact with your teacher or getting your missing work, please let us know because we are a support system for you all. We are the ones that can help be that person uh, in between to talk to your teachers for you, okay? Um, also about summer school, if you are a senior and let's just say you just were not able to stay on track throughout the year and you have to, and you miss the scheduled graduation. There is a graduation that is in the summer. Once you pass the classes in summer, that's what we consider our rainbow graduation. We want all of our Spencer students to graduate with your class on time in May. But again, we understand things happen, and there is an opportunity to still graduate with your class in the summer. Um, but again, if you are not keeping in contact with myself or your guidance counselors or your teachers, that road can be very difficult. We want everybody to have a successful year throughout the year with their classes, participate in activities here on campus when we're able to open up um, everything completely due to the pandemic. So just make sure that you keep your grades up because that will also determine other activities that you're able to participate in on campus as well. If you don't have the correct number of credits, you're ineligible to play sports. If your GPA is not where it needs to be, some of the clubs and activities that you want to participate in, you won't be able to do that. And you also want to make sure you stay out of trouble. Okay? Parents, many of you asked me about the dual enrollment classes. <clears throat> Those dual enrollment classes are for juniors and seniors. You have to have at least a 3.0 GPA, um, and that is through the Georgia Student Finance Commission. Um, you have to go to Georgia Futures, and you can pull up the GPA, the HOPE GPA, through that site. Um, next semester, I will start um, recruiting students for dual enrollment. So it's a good idea for you to go ahead and go into Georgia Futures now. You can do the application, and you have to be sure that your parents do the parental agreement. If you can go ahead and get those things done, then I can start going through and seeing if there's a slot for you. Let me go ahead and give you the testing dates for ACT and SAT. The SAT dates will be December the 5th, March 13th, May 8th, and June 5th. That'll be at Brookstone and CSU. The ACT dates will be December 12th, February 6th, June 21st at Brookstone, and then at Carver High School, December 12th, 
February 6th, April 17th, and June 21st. Um, I would encourage all of you now that are college bound or co have college interests to go ahead and start applying to colleges. Ask us early on for your recommendation letters. Start working on those types of things now so that you're not at the end of the year asking for all of your teachers and your guidance department to do uh, you know, so many recommendation letters at one time. Go ahead and start asking for those things early. Um, be proactive. Um, research things. Look at the colleges that you're interested in. Look at what types of classes they offer and if they offer things that uh, you want to major in. We will be doing career interest inventory so that you can see what your, where your passion lies, but be proactive too and get with your parents and sit down and look at things. We will, as I said, have different opportunities and different people to come and speak with you, um, whether it's about financial aid, whether it's about scholarships. We will also post scholarships on the web. We will be posting some soon, so make sure that you look at the website uh, each and every day, actually. Um, I think that's just about everything that I have to say. Ms. Washington, do you have anything else that you'd like to add? Yes, I do need to add one more thing. If you are an athlete, please make sure that you have an NCAA Eligibility Center account that is active. If you plan on playing D1 or D2 sports, you need to make sure that you have that account so you can have scholarship opportunities afforded to you. Also, please, 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 when it's time for us to give um, those recommendations, it's actually helpful for us to have a, a resume so we know what to include in your letter. So make sure you're work, work, working on your resume as well as your personal statement about what makes you stand out from other um, candidates, what makes you special, what have you overcome. So please start thinking about those things. So you actually have two jobs as a senior. One, to get through the year. Two, to have a plan for when you leave Spencer High School. And finally, Ms. Wa Ms. Dorsey may have one more thing to say. Go ahead, Ms. Dorsey. I was just going to say that if any of the students need to contact me or parents need to contact me, my information is also on the school's website under the guidance um, counselors tab there's another tab that says graduation coaches corner and that is where all of my information is my canvas information my remind information and my work office phone number where you can call and text me so if anybody needs any uh, information about credit recovery summer school or have questions about their current amount of credits and things of that nature please give any of us here a call thank you and finally, I wanted to say that, you know, we have traditional students and we have virtual students, but we want to give you the most traditional year possible. And this is a difficult time where it's not just about your academics, but it's about your emotional feelings and how you feel in this really trying time. So as counselors, we are also here for you if you or your parents um, need someone to talk to and you do need to uh, call and set up an appointment or just need to share your feelings. We are here to support you in that emotional um, you know, area of your life as well. Please have a great year. Please reach out to us and know that we're here to support you and that we care. Your guidance team at Spencer High School and your graduation coach. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ms. Haynes. I'm the senior advisor at Spencer High School. I coordinate activities that involve the senior class. You can find information about these activities and important dates on our school website under Senior News, as well as your Canvas page, the Spencer High School 2021 Classroom Course. Some important dates to remember are October 9th. This is the first payment for senior dues. The deposit is um, the amount of $70. The full balance is due December the 18th. <clears throat> Another important date is October the 13th. Johnson's will be at the school to do their presentation about the senior cap and gown orders. They will be back in the school October the 16th to actually take orders for the cap and gown. If you are a virtual learner, you can look at the information on Johnson's website. There are no other dates to report at this time, but this information and other dates can be found on the school website and the school Canvas course on the Canvas page. Again, I am Ms. Haynes, 
the senior advisor. Let's have a wonderful year.